You have to have a very good working, working arrangement with your hands. You've got to have skill in your hands and you've got to be able to transmit that skill into metal or into wood. Well, unless you have an eye for shapes, and, and, and unless you can visualise what a job is going to look like when it's complete, you really don't have much hope of applying yourself to a job. You've got to have a vision of how a thing looks when it's finished before you can build it. Yeah, you've got to have an instinct for, for line. You've got to have a, a certain amount of... You've got to have an eye for shape. You've got to have a, a perspective. Um, you've got to be able to be creative in a way that you've got to take a, a, uh, an object, recreate it from the ground up, and uh, see it right through until it's finished. It's a bit like, I suppose, when a sculptor sees a model of something, he looks at it, he puts the, his brain goes to his hand, he creates with his hands, with the brain informing him what to do, and to a degree it's, it's what we do when we build a motor car. Metal, as long as you treat it properly, uh, will do most things for you. Um, you've got to be careful with it, you've got to be gentle with it. Um, if you start abusing it, then it's like everything that you abuse, it's going to bite back at you. It's not going to do what you want it to. Or you can, you can feel um, the indentations or the uh, pieces that aren't supposed to be there, and then you wheel that um, panels so that it, they disappear. My father was a coach builder for, before me. He was a coach builder before the war and uh, I trained with him and I trained my own son. Uh, hopefully I'll train my grandsons. It's a family trait, you know, you have families that do certain things. Um, we go back generations with farriers and blacksmiths and uh, wheelwrights on both sides of the family. So it, it's sort of a skill that must come through somewhere. If you have generations of people that work with their hands, then it must be easier. We were lucky enough to come through a period of time when this sort of car was built in a coach building shop and we've just continued on with the old-fashioned uh, type of construction, old-fashioned methods, upgraded our technology in the welding and the uh, mechanical lines. I, I consider this type of work uh, the, the, the best of people in our job. It's the best of work you can have. As a coach builder, I can appreciate the lines of a nice motor car, and if people want them, we try and manufacture them for them. <coughs> Cars from the 50s and 60s had a, a bit of a magic about them. Um, cars later than that lost that magic, as far as shape was concerned, and it's not until now that it's going back to that same era with more bulges, more sweeping lines. Our cars have got to be right first time, dead right, and that's the way we build them. <laughs>